right hey what's up you guys welcome back to the channel as you guys can tell i'm already out here on the water caught my first fish right there fishing this offshore log pile in about 30 feet went right over it i saw it on the graph and uh put a waypoint on it came back around and uh first actually second cast with the yamura cowboy and uh, that fish just picked it up as soon as it hit the bottom a little 14 incher but it's a start hopefully we can catch more fish for you guys so stay tuned Make a quick stop. You already know. I gotta fire the spoon over there real quick. It seems like these fish don't like hanging around the docks this time of year. Right after the spawn, then uh, the shad spawn starts and that's usually when they'll start getting right back underneath these docks schools of shad will just circle underneath these docks and those bass will just spin right underneath there but i fish other lakes where these big females would get underneath these docks too during the pre-spawn but maybe it's not quite there yet since the morning it's been kind of cold Could be the reason why it hasn't been uh, that good, or well, the bite hasn't quite turned on yet. Man, it can't be this tough. Let's keep going. Let's throw the swim jig around. Let's see if there's any up shallow. Just want to eat the swim jig. temp needs to hit that 52 53 that's kind of like the magic number the bite always seems to turn on in the afternoon it's either first thing in the morning or right around one or two o'clock when the bite turns back on it's 12 25 right now wind's starting to pick up it's almost that time of day these little stuff you always want to pay attention to helps you make the decision of staying or going if you don't pay attention to this kind of stuff you might end up leaving it before the bite even turns on Measurement. Let's weigh our best five today. Should have weighed that first one, but let's see. One ninety four. Hopefully, you guys can see that. It's about 194. All right. Oops.
number three. Two oh nine. All right, this wind's picking up, so let me go back to throwing this hay rig. See if we can fire up these fish. Fifty-three, two and a half pounder. This one's fat. It's about to explode. Nice one on the A rig. Should have weighed that one. Forgot to weigh it. It's all right. Let's just call it like a one pounder, one and a quarter. I was hoping it was going to be a bigger one. I'd have to put on the bigger Kitex and see if those bigger fish will eat the bigger Kitex. That fish was a little bit pale, so. That means these fish are starting to move up a little bit more shallower. My line just went slacked. <laughs> Thought I had a fish right there. First initial bite felt way bigger. It's not a big one. One sixty. Kicker fish. Need that four pound kicker fish. Bring us up to uh, 12 pounds. Twelve pounds a uh, respectable weight on this lake. Especially uh how tough it's been fishing lately. Okay. 
hitting it on the way up. I don't think this guy's on a call. This guy's gonna beat up. Let's see. Well, I can add that one to my five fish limit. Puts me at 9.43. Oh, one and a quarter. You go with the bigger 5.8 in the back of the swim jig. Where's all the big fish at? Come on. That's what's up. Bigger bait, bigger fish. Whew. Heck yeah. On a swim jig, 5.8 Kitek. Thought I was gonna miss that fish with that hook set. Three and a half. I'm up to 11.72 pounds. Heck yeah. All right, you guys. Three and a half pounder. Nice and healthy. There's gotta be a few more like that down there. Whew. I knew the swim jig would get the better quality fish. Man, I was kind of scared that I wasn't gonna get that hook set in that fish. As soon as I set it, my line kind of just went limp. Yeah, as soon as I set the hook, I didn't really feel the weight of the fish no more. Felt like a smaller fish. Uh, luckily, luckily that fish stayed pinned. Let's see if there's another one out there. There's one big one. There's got to be multiple big ones. Those big three pounders, they don't really hang around these little one pounders. I mean, they'll they'll probably come in, but they won't stay around with these one pounders. They kind of just school out in the middle with, with a few other big ones. Got to get my stance ready for that hook set again. You got to be ready. If you're not... In the right stance, you're going to miss those, those bites at the end of the cast. Oh, my gosh. Whew. That one felt like a bite. Probably got hung up in the grass. Oh, my God. Dang it. That for sure was a bite. All right, let's get ready. I think that bite's finally starting to kick on right now. As soon as I hopped it, the fish grabbed it. Luckily I was paying attention to my line. I just saw my line jump. Mr. Largemouth Bass was down there chasing this guy. Okay. All right. 
nice one. That's a that's a nice healthy one. All right, zeroed out. My smallest one's a 160. This one's got to be over two. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Let's double check that again. Two eight six. Almost a three pounder. Wow. All right, I'm at twelve ninety eight now. Not bad. All right, almost a three pounder right here. Is it two eighty? Two eighty something. Fish of the day. Nice rock pile. All right, yes. All right, great way to end the day. Got my last fish. I got like just a few minutes left on my SD card before it gets full. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next one.